Greetings, salutations. Sorry it's been a while. Oh, I'm not even sure how long it's been. Might be, what, two? No, it's been at least three weeks? Four weeks? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Um, what have I been doing? Well, I think since the last video, I did go see my doctor, and she did give me some, um, pain pill, but it's not a real pain pill, it's just Tylenol with codeine. I had a bit of a reaction to that. It uh, gave me some real bad heartburn, so I stopped for a little while, and then I got back on it, and when I first tried it, it did help with my lower back, but, but after two days of taking a break from it, I then went back to use it again. I did not have the heartburn or the acid reflux from it, but it didn't do anything for the pain. It's It's... It's very strange. I don't know. It was working. It was making a difference. But the second time I went back to use it, it just it just stopped working. So um, I stopped taking it because, I mean, I wasn't getting any more out of it than I was out of regular Tylenol. So uh, that was kind of a disappointment. But it is what it is. The back's doing okay. It's not it's not great. But uh, it's, it's all right. I haven't really done anything to really aggravate it either. So kind of been doing that and um but uh i've uh kind of just been real tired um so i've been kind of just taking it easy and of course i was doing some shopping for some christmas gifts for the folks i have to actually wrap gifts today it's the recording of this is the day after black friday um so hopefully if you celebrate thanksgiving you enjoyed it and if you bought anything for black friday hope you got a good deal i did not go out I'm more of a Cyber Monday kind of guy anyway, but I bought all my stuff that I was going to buy in the beginning of uh, November towards the end because shipping this year has been terrible, uh, especially with um, the United States Postal Service. Uh, just about everything I ordered that was coming through them was uh, either late you know, or wasn't on the same day. Uh, Amazon was pretty good, but there was a few things even Amazon was having problems with, so... Um, it's it's seems to be a lot of people were saying that though I noticed when I was buying stuff a lot of people were saying there's issues with shipping this year so give us more time than normal so that's kind of kind of a universal thing I guess I, I don't know and of course a lot of those controversy about the new PlayStation and the Xbox and all those getting stolen and stuff the good thing I don't spend my money on that <laughs> uh, I did buy something though I bought myself another phone. This is the uh, Huawei uh, Mate 8. This came out like four years ago. It was a premium phone, like 750 bucks. But I found this on Amazon. Uh, it was refurbished. Like, it was actually supposedly never really used. Um, and it came with the um, original charger and cable. But it did not come with the original box or the cases. I thought it came with the cases. It said it did, but it didn't. So I had to order a case. But, of course, uh, when I bought the phone, I thought it would come with a case. And it took a while for the phone to get here, like three weeks. And when it got here, I had no case. Then I had to look for a case. Well, those three weeks made a big difference trying to get a case here. And any time before the beginning of the new year, I did find one clear case on eBay. And that should be here Monday, which is good because this phone is very slippery. And I've dropped it once, fortunately not very far. Um, and I want to make sure I got a case on it. But this is a really good phone. Four-year, Four-year-old phone, it still works brilliantly. Um, and it's on Android 7. I thought it might be a little slow, but it's got 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. It really works good, and I like the size of the screen. Um, it's a nice big, big screen. So uh, I'm very pleased with this phone. This really worked good. That Yuma Digi A7 Pro that I bought, it was not a good phone. Um, it did everything all right, but it was a little slow when you had a couple windows open. Uh, and the camera on that thing was just trash. And that's one of the things I use the most on my phone is the camera. Um, so that was important to me. So that, that Yuma Digi A7 Pro, I'm, I'm not real pleased with it. It was $125 brand new. So, I mean, you get what you pay for it. But uh, now it's just sitting in a box. Uh, I would sell it, but nobody's going to want to buy it because you can buy a brand new one for $125. So, uh, I don't know. It's a good backup if something happens, I suppose. Um but that's about it. Not a whole lot going on. I've been meaning to make a video. It's just with, just like I said, I haven't had much energy. My energy level's been pretty low. And, and with all the 
going on with the um, pandemic and stuff. I just try not to go out too much. There's a come times I feel like I'm out there way too much. And I've been to Walmart, Chinese Buffet, and um, the Golden Corral. And it's staggering how many people do not wear a mask. I mean, I was at the, the Chinese Buffet, and the guy... Both guys are sitting next to us. Never wore a mask to get up and go get their food. But I had to wear a glove because they didn't want to touch the food. Why, why aren't you wearing a mask then? It didn't make any sense. One lady got up. She took her plate she'd been eating on over to the buffet to get more food. She's supposed to get a fresh plate. And then I went to Walmart. The amount of people not wearing a mask on Walmart was staggering to me. Why are they not telling these people to put a mask on? So uh, I've really been trying not to go out anywhere with big crowds and stuff because it's ridiculous i feel no reason for myself to get sick and die because you don't want to wear a mask speaking of that i just bought more masks um i bought a whole bunch of new masks for the folks and some filters for my mask um so i've got plenty of those in and um like i said i'm just trying to stay home and keep everything safe and not trying to do anything crazy i'm trying not to do too much with the back so i'm trying to give it time to to hopefully heal up a little bit better so next year i'm not having all the same amount of issues because it's really getting getting old um i just get tired of always having a sore back but i've been doing the grocery shopping and going out and doing stuff because you still gotta do physical activity um but i just really try to like if i'm gonna go grocery shopping i get there the store opens at seven and i like to be done by 7 40 at the latest and get out and get home before the rest of the people are out um it's just it's just not worth it and uh I just don't understand the not wearing the mask thing. I mean, whether you believe that the coronavirus is real or not, why would you risk it is the part I don't understand when you can put a mask on. And and then I see people who wear the mask who don't have their nose covered, you know, or they got it down around their chin, their mouth, and noses. I mean, why, 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 how hard is it to pull it up another two inches, for God's sake? I, I don't know. I got real burned out on people this year. The, the stupidity level has been incredible. The coronavirus has definitely showed me that. So, like I said, just going to do a little uh, Christmas wrapping, get some gifts underneath the tree, and uh, take it easy, and uh, kind of coast into the last month of the year, and hopefully get through that without any issues. Hopefully you're all doing well. Um, I, I haven't got my camera system set up yet. Um, like I said, I've, I really just haven't had an energy level to do anything, so I've been kind of just keeping it, you know, I figure it take a couple weeks and not do anything, let that back get better, because it was really getting... It's getting real bad, and uh, so I really needed to stop doing just about everything to give it a little chance to rest up, and it, it is feeling better. Um, you know, it's not quite as bad as it was. Uh, I don't have the, the constant um, nagging pain, but I, I, you know, about three or four hours after getting up, it starts to ache, and as the day goes on, it does get more sore. So, I um, mean, I still got issues, but I just got to pace myself, I guess. I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I just don't know anymore. So anyway, hope you're all doing well. Just want to put a quick video up, let you know that I'm still alive and well. Um, the doctor did give me something for the pain. It didn't really pan out too well. Um, so I just just try not to do too much. I would like to get my displays up for my diecast cars. If you follow me on Facebook, you know I have a... I think it's over 200 diecast cars now. And I want to put them up. But the, the walls, the ceiling and stuff is higher in the apartment. So I had to have a ladder to do that. And I'm just was like, well, I'll just wait. I mean, I don't, I'd like to get them up, but I don't want to get on the ladder and get bending and you're twisting, trying to put stuff over your head and stuff. That would just tear my back right up. So I'm going to wait a little while on that one. Hopefully, maybe sometime in December or January, I'll get them up. It, you know, just unfortunately, I have to pace myself on these things because projects like that, getting up on the ladder and walking stuff, is tough on the lower back. And once I aggravate it, it's just, it just becomes an issue. So I'm trying not to do that. But Hopefully with a little more rest here, I can get that done and, and finish cleaning up these boxes over here. And then I'll get everything done in the room and finally get everything finished. But uh, we'll see how that goes. All right. Hope you're all doing well. Appreciate you sticking around. Uh, enjoy the upcoming Christmas season if you celebrate it and the New Year's. And hopefully 2021 will be a better year for us. Uh, I will endeavor, of course, to put up a video maybe two in December um, as long as everything is going well for me. But uh, anyway, till then. We'll catch you in the next one.